it's a very widespread view, isn't it, that you should never grass anybody up unless it's a sort of act of petty revenge, in which case we're all right about it. Should never tell anybody about somebody else's malfeasance or somebody else's misdeeds. And that's why I wonder whether it works. I have a theory, which is exactly 18 minutes old. I have a theory that if you opened up a phone line, and, and these phone lines exist, I bet it's the same people ringing in all the time. I bet it's the same old busybodies ringing in all the time to try and get someone they don't like into trouble or just sticking their nose into other people's business. And, and it shouldn't be. So why do we have such a psychological problem with the idea of why all, all the language is unhelpful? I'm about to say grassing up. That's a negative. No one wants to be a grass. I'm about to say snitching. That's a negative. Snitches get stitches. Uh, informing makes you think of, I don't know, the, 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 the Vichy regime in France or something like that. I don't, or, or people who were dobbing in the French resistance. Dobbing in isn't helpful either. What, is there even a positive word for it? Doing my civic duty as a, as a, as a patriot, uh, as a law-abiding patriot, doing my civic duty by pointing out the misdemeanours of people that are robbing the rest of us blind. Why does it, why do all the words to describe that sound like I'm the wrong one? Sound like I'm the baddie. I'm the super grass. I'm the snitch. I'm the dobberina. What well, I can't think of what the correct word would be. So, is this one area where if you've got nothing to hide, you've got nothing to fear?